This is a quick overview about how to create your dashboard in PPM. For the detailed information about dashboard, there is a link about online help. Once you click the online help, you, you can just go to the link here. Then you can type dashboard in the search button. So that you can find the result of dashboard. Let's go back to the first page. So for PPM, it's quite easy to create a personal dashboard. You can just click here and click Personalize Dashboard. There are two parts in the dashboard page. One is private pages. The second one is shared pages. Shared pages is for the public. Private pages is for yourself. You can see here there are three options. One is uh, creating a new page. Another one is create groups. So for create a new groups, which means you can create new groups of pages. The third one is add pre-configured pages, which means in PPM you can create the module and configure the module with a couple groups of pages. We can take an example here. Let's create a new page. Then let's rename the page. Let's take PPM as an example. Most of the portraits are created by default of PPM, or they can create it by yourself. If you want to know what the portrait it is, please see the descriptions of the portrait. You can preview your pages here. Let's go back to the first page. Then you could go through your page. Here is the portrait which you create in the dashboard. If you want to make your own portrait, you have to go to the portrait definition. Like here, you could create your portrait definition. You can see here. There are several types of portrait type, and we will do as what we have picked as an example to do a bar chart. First, let's pick the bar chart here. Then type our name. Pick data source. If we want to see what the data source is, you have to go to the PPM workbench to see all the details of data source. In PPM web page, you cannot see what data source is. So we pick PPM features with strategy themes. Then we go to next. Here we can see our source. We can define bar value source. What I will do is here to take the story point. Pick the orientation to vertical. Click next. It's almost done. We can Click preview to see. It seems good. So we can also click and drag to select the move the fields. Then let's click finish. 
the portlet is created. Let's verify the portlets. We can see the portlet which we create here. Then add portlet. Here, add. Let's preview it. It seems good. Let's go to the first page. Then go to page which we have created. Now we can see the portrait which we have created now. That's all for this video. If you have any other questions, please go to online help. That could be the best way for you to get the information you want.